r slash ask reddit what was the dumbest thing you ever did to try and impress a girl or guy i was in new zealand was going to a beach party with some girls from the hostel i was staying at to get to the party you needed to take a two dollar ferry across this inlet which was about one kilometer wide i decided to swim it to impress the ladies about halfway through i realized that i'm slowly being swept out to sea and i'm losing strength i'm not sure how but eventually I made it to the other shore, about 100 meters away from the pier. The ferry had docked about 2-3 minutes before me, and I just nonchalantly walked over to meet the girls, as if I hadn't swum against a current to near exhaustion and was swept out to sea. Good side, it worked and I ended up hooking up with one of the ladies bad side. The $2 was for a round trip, and I still had to pay $2 to get back once the party was over. This is incredible, incredibly stupid, but incredibly funny too. Worth the $2. I tried to do a backflip, I've never actually done a backflip before, not even on a trampoline. I actually would up just jumping backwards and hitting my head hella hard on the ground, and then I woke up and threw up a bunch, if she ever had a thing for me, which all my friends said she did. It was gone that day, edit, for everyone worried, I did wind up going to a doctor, he said I was an idiot but that it was a minor concussion and not to worry unless more symptoms started happening, which they didn't. That is as bold as it is short sighted, good effort mate, imagine if you nailed it and was like that's the first time I ever tried that, proceeds to try and jump a moving car. I woke up and threw up a bunch, bro you got knocked out cold and had more than a slight concussion. Edit, just pictured this girl running over to the OP and asking did it hurt, and his eyes light up and lips form a grin, when I fell from heaven, no, when you whacked your ducking head dude, you good, Christ. I was abroad in Dominican Republic, they had a dance competition on a stage, anyone could enter and it had around 200 people watching. I was about 9-10ish and spotted a cute girl who must have been around 14-15. So obviously I decided the best way to get her attention was to get up on stage and dance my heart out. Cue 3 minutes of awkward shuffling, while maintaining constant eye contact with that girl, and horrified queasy looks from my parents. The coordinator cut me off early by pretending the speaker stopped working. I got a pity clap. This hurt me. Edit. This is now my highest voted comment ever and that also hurts me. I don't think I realized quite how tragic it was until I got older. When I was a teen I took taekwondo classes and there were two beautiful girls around my age. They liked to go and have a smoke behind them all before class and I wanted to be cool and impress them so I took up smoking too. It was about two weeks in when one girl came to class early so I went and had a smoke with her. Then the next girl came in and wanted to have a smoke. So I went and had another one with her. When we came back we started doing our warm up laps and I felt very queasy. I had to throw up. So ran outside. Right next to the Dairy Queen. I threw up all over the glass wall where the cashiers and several people eating looked on in horror. Poor DQ employees. They see enough shit. This is my favorite one. Did you ever smoke again? I bought a hedgehog off someone to give to her, but her parents said no. I ended up keeping him and he was the sweetest boy. Lived for 7 years. Edit. I was very young and didn't have much of a thought process past. She's going to definitely like me after this. Here he is. HTTPS colon slash slash. Imgur. Com gallery mbvnnpj. Did you buy it off someone who picked it up in the middle of the street? It was an African pygmy if I can remember. The owner had a small child who was starting to walk and putting their fingers in the cage. She didn't have time to care for him as much as she would have liked. So he was as domestic as an exotic pet could be. On a 4th of July date after going out to dinner, I took her out on the lake in a canoe to watch the fireworks. It was awesome. Young macho me, of course. Turned down her offer of help with a large canoe and I manhandled that thing like it was nothing. Put her in it while it was on the grass and continued manhandling it to show off just how strong I was. The next morning I had to call into work sick because my back muscles were so strained I couldn't get out of bed. My back was sore for over a week. Edit. Did it work? Don't kiss and tell is a good rule to live by. It allows respect for those you date and yourself. You want to bend at the waist and lift with the jerking. Twisting motion. This. Well. It doesn't sound right. 
getting up from the bleachers to play pay dodgeball. I tried to pull my sweatpants off while yelling let's do this. Ended up yanking off everything. Boxes and all. Bold. I lied and said I had experience in journalism. Because I didn't think we'd have anything except a brief encounter. When I'd actually only taken one class in college. Our first date he took me with to report on a local clash between police and citizens and I got tear gassed and robbed. This takes the cake. And the wallet. Tried to backflip from a 5 meter diving board. There was no flipping involved. Just me falling on my back into a pool from 5 meters high. Shit didn't feel good. Don't know which one was more bruised. My back or my ego. As a platform diver I think you actually have to try harder to not flip than flip. Kudos. When I said there was no flipping involved. Just me falling on my back. I mean that I'll let myself fall. No impulse at all. I thought that I would bring my knees back and that would do the flipping. But I froze as soon as my feet left the platform. Ran into a busy road and picked up a hedgehog. Wasn't run over. But my hand stung for a week. I'm imagining a scene in which your love interest glides silently past you as the popular kid at school arrives and puts their hand around their shoulder. They walk away laughing about some hilarious joke they share whilst you stand silently holding a hedgehog with stinging hands. It then starts to rain. Not too far wrong. It was raining. And within a month they started dating a good friend. My friend wasn't overly popular. But he was a drummer. Which gave him an edge over this little gaming nerd. Did a backflip from a tree about 5 featuring up. Landed it. But the ground was slippery. And I used my hands to catch me falling backwards. And broke my wrist. 10th grade me. You were a ducking moron. I mean landing it at all is still pretty badass though. Tried to raise a scooter down the steepest hill around. Crashed into the back of a funeral hearse and shattered the back window. There was a body inside and the family was outside waiting to either go to the cemetery or take the coffin inside. I got up, covered in blood and glass, grabbed my scooter and hobbled away to the nearest alleyway. Oh no. Oh no yeah. Started smoking. Wanted to look cool and have an excuse to talk to her. It worked but we only dated for a couple of months. Biggest mistake of my life. Edit. As this is my most upvoted comment, I would just like to say since turning 28 on Saturday, I haven't touched a cigarette since. Wish me luck X. Now you just gotta find another girl to quit smoking for. Is that an offer? I made sure I was the one to return her jacket when she forgot it at school. When I gave it back to her the next morning she blamed me for stealing it. We didn't end up together. Wow this blew up. Thanks for my first platinum. For the people that were wondering, I did not steal the jacket. Trust me, if she immediately assumed you stole it after you were the one who brought it to her then you definitely dodge a bullet there at it. She probably wasn't into you. OP. More like the bullet dodged him. The guy I was seeing went on a vacation with his family for two weeks, and I had the key to his place to feed his cat. While he was gone, I painted his bathroom. He thought it was weird, but seemed mostly okay with it. But it worked. He married me in October. Damn. Wish someone would come by and just straight up paint my bathroom. Two, I'd be confused, but honestly welcome the surprise. Not like it hurts anything. Did you repaint his bathroom? Or completely recolor it? In elementary school when I walked by this girl I liked I would pretend to chew gum and crack my knuckles cause I thought I'd look cool. Jesus. I bet this kid could carry soooo men of folding chairs at once. Love this. 9 year old me was so impressed when Brandon could lift 5 at once. Kids are so ducking weird. Not really dumb. But kinda funny to look back on now. I wasn't good at sports, but I was fairly quick, so I joined the track team to impress a girl. Turns out the girl wasn't impressed by runners, but I did end up going to state and the 100 meter dash and placing second. Edit. I also ended up getting a scholarship for track so it was sort of a win I guess. I just realized my entire school choice career path has been a result of trying to impress a girl. Edit 2. For those asking. My best time in the 100 meter was 10. 81. Did you also play second in the competition for her heart? I didn't even make it to finals. Learned how to rap crack a bottle by Eminem. 
When I showed him I could he only knew the clean version and I knew the actual dirty version. How was this delivered? Did you just go up to him and start rapping at him or did you wait for an opportunity? I can't imagine what this kind of opportunity looks like. When he came and picked me up he played it BC it's his favorite song. That's how I was able to show him. I don't think he even told me or looked impressed lol. Kept telling me I was saying the wrong lyrics when it was supposed to be the clean version. When I was 15, I dropped a heavy book on my head. It was this old dictionary, a single volume that was easily 8 inches thick and probably weighed 15 pounds. I laid down on the floor, held it over my head with my arms fully extended, and dropped it a foot and a half right onto my forehead. I guess either it would show how tough I was, I was not tough. It sorta of worked because I dated her until freshman year of college, but that was likely in spite of my actions and not because of them. LOL how would this impress anyone edit? Goddamn. I didn't think this was gonna get so many upvotes. I think this might be my most upvoted comment edit number 2. Holy shit guys. Calm down with the upvotes. I've gotten one. 500 upvotes in the last 2 or so hours edit number 3. This goes to you muduckers hating on my award speech edits. We've broke 3k upvotes. My friend got hit by a car to impress a girl and it worked I think. They are still dating 3 years later. Take up smoking in high school. Didn't get the guy and it took 15 years for me to quit smoking. Haven't been a smoker for almost 7 years now. Quitting smoking was one of the hardest things I have done. I feel this is my soul. I started smoking to impress this girl and 10 years later I still smoke. Hands down one of the dumbest thing I've done to impress anyone. I tried to jump through a swing. The plan was to go head first through. Do a somersault on the other side. And look super cool. I smoked my face on the wooden seat. I've posted this before but still funny to me. Dating a gymnast in high school. We go to a park and I see parallel bars that are designed for stretching but I'm convinced I can do a handstand on them because I'm awesome. She keeps insisting they are too far apart but I don't listen. Attempt said handstand. They were indeed too far apart so I collapsed down jamming my chest past my hands and strain tear all the ligaments holding my chest muscles to my breastbone. Good times were not had later or for a long while after. The funniest part is that this was her area of expertise and you still decided you knew better. D. He definitely didn't impress her with listening skills or athletic prowess that day. My first serious girlfriend is home alone and I think this might be the day I get off of second base. I'm all of 13. Hormone adult. And obviously confident this girl is the love of my life. It's midsummer and I know I can bike the 3-ish miles pretty quickly. I tell my parents I'm going to see my friend right around the block. They warn me that a thunderstorm is rolling in. And I tell them it takes no time to get there. 10 minutes later I'm only halfway there. Terrified. Crying. Pedaling as hard as I can to go downhill against the wind. My all metal framed. BMX knockoff Huffy doing its best to not get hit with lightning and fuse me to its shiny silver exterior forever. 30 plus minutes after that, I pull into her garage and thank god that all the rain has hid the fact I've been ugly sobbing the entire way. Her parents then pull in as I'm literally hunched over trying to catch my breath. I tell them this was the only house I knew on the street and it would have been life threatening to bike the rest of the way home in this storm. They smile, probably knowing it was a lie, and treated me to a nice dinner. It ends with a very awkward drive home with her father, my bike in the back of his truck. Edit. Thanks for the platinum. Stranger. I'm so happy this random event in my life made so many people smile. Edit 2. The distance has to be wrong. The wind was incredibly strong and made me travel at the pace of a fast walk. But that still doesn't feel right considering it took me 40 plus minutes. When I was a senior in high school, I was giving this girl a ride home in a bad storm. I told her everything was okay, but my windshield wipers didn't work. Then we heard an emergency broadcast on the radio that a tornado had touched down not a mile away from us. I stopped under a bridge and let her cry while I put on my brave face. I was so scared. That was the second time I had gone through a tornado situation. Edit. We literally couldn't see anything at all through my windows because the rain was coming down so hard. My car started moving because of the wind. It was the scariest experience of my life. Edit 2. Yes we hooked up. Lots. 
Jesus, man, that's way more intense. I was alone in a park in front of my house. I was standing by the monkeybas just fooling around. I was around 10 at the time. I see a group of around 5 girls cycling towards me, all about 16 years old, thinking I can impress them. I jump on the monkey bar, still looking at them to show off. Turns out, completely missed the bars, fell from a 6 featuring wooden playground flat on the face, teeth trough my lip, crying and everything. They ran over, asked me where I lived and carried me home. They were really sweet about it but it was pretty embarrassing for me. Edit. Holy shit this blew up. Thanks for all your upvotes and funny comments. Also, I took more girls home when I was 10 as opus to now 10 years later. Time to swing on the monkey bars in my gym. Dude took 5 older ladies home. Legend. Even better. 5 older ladies took him home. Edit. I just broke 10. 000 total karma with this comment. I don't know how I should feel about that. Embarrassing to admit but the only time I truly tried to impress a girl was in primary school when I was about 10 or 11. I would swear when she was near and always gave the impression I didn't give a duck. Backfired though. She just ended up thinking I had anger and behavioral issues. This girl really liked my boyfriend. In middle school before we met. But he was not interested. His solution? Never make eye contact or acknowledge her existence. He started looking above her head whenever she talked to him. Slowly looking higher and higher. At one point he was staring directly at the ceiling while this poor girl talked to him for a good 15 minutes. After that she thought he was weird and never talked to him again. That's a dong move but he was in middle school so it's okay. Drove from Virginia to New York. To pick her up from an airport in NY. Which was about an hour from where she went to school. But it worked so that was okay. Edited for clarity. Which states though. Distance is important in this case. New Hampshire. Kentucky and Alaska. I actually got one. I was 14. Totally fully in love with this girl from my class. Go to add. We kinda flirted for a whole year but got nowhere. She was the kind of girl who likes attention so you can imagine how she kept me hooked up knowing I had no chance. Since it was getting close to Valentine's Day, I decided I was going to impress her and make her mine. By learning how to play guitar and all her favorite songs. A whole week practicing like a madman and actually learned two songs I knew she loved. So fully prepared and convinced her would hit jackpot. On the 14th I go to her house. Call her out telling her I had a surprise. She pops her head out of the door. Sees me and my guitar and nopes the duck out of there. Telling me to leave. Hey at least I now know how to play a guitar. Edit. Damn you really liked me getting a door slammed onto my face. D thanks for my first mega upvoted post. I weirdly love these stories where they don't get the girl but get a sick skill. I like to believe this is how everyone learns guitar edit. To all the people who took this seriously. I'm a musician too. 14 years trumpet. Self taught piano. Professional actor. Chill your nips. I intentionally threw multiple games of the note to let a girl think she was amazing at the game. The things we do for love crush. So was she impressed? It got me a few more dates at least. I was 16 lol. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cast you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.